Hi, Christopher Mosley here with Real As It Gets Photography. And I'm going to be doing more reviews on products that I buy and probably several reviews on products I already have and I've already been using over the course of the last couple of years as long as I've been doing professional photography. And today I just wanted to do a quick, quick review of the Canon Digital Gadget Bag 200DG. So we're going to dive right into some of the features of this bag and what I use it for. First of all, who is this bag for? This bag is going to be for your professionals that are doing portrait shoots, maybe some headshots, maybe some fashion photography. I would not recommend this bag for a wedding photographer or someone that's going to be filming or recording all day simply because this bag will not hold that many objects. It's going to be good for one or two camera bodies, one or two lenses, maybe a flash and your triggers and something of that nature. Uh, lens like a 70 to 200 lens is not you're not going to want to use that in this bag because it's very large It's going to take up most of your space So we try to keep you know, a large bag for that type of setup This is going to be something where you're on the move, but you will still want to keep your items safe and secure What fits inside this camera bag? So right now Usually when I walk around I have two camera bodies on me a Canon 6D and a Canon 5D Mark III Which I'm using to film right now Right now, I can say I can fit my Canon 6D, 50mm 1.8, my kit lens, my 24-105 uh, F4 L series lens, and my 35mm 1.4 L series lens in this bag, along with the speed light, three triggers, my SD cards, um, I have plenty of rechargeable inner loop batteries. And a couple of filters and that's all I really have in this bag this is gonna be the bag I use most of the time because I don't want to take that much with me you want to take as least as possible with you when you go to these jobs and make sure you secure your belongings pros now some of the pros about this bag is gonna be very nice build quality you can tell down to the stitch in this bag is very very delicately made they paid attention to details everything is of, of the utmost quality. The smallest items that you look at, you can see they're very durable. They have chrome pieces for the latches. The zippers are very, very fine. When you pull the zipper, it feels very good to pull the zipper very smooth. It doesn't feel like it's gonna snag on you. As long as you take care of this bag, it seems like it'll last you for probably the duration of your career. Um, another good thing about this bag is it has these Velcro notches on the side of the top of the bag that secures your bag even if you forget to latch your bag the velcro will snap on automatically and keep your stuff secure so you make sure you don't drop any of your lenses or your gear we know that gear is worth a lot of money um the leather handle feels very good i took it with me to the fair and had it on my shoulder for a couple of hours and it felt very good it, it didn't slip it had a type of traction on it that kind of stuck to my shirt and kept it on my shoulder Overall, this is a very good bag. The latches that are on the shoulder piece are very durable and very finished and they feel very heavy duty. I like my materials to feel heavy duty and have weight to them so I know that they will stand the test of time and, and take a sort of beating. But overall, this is a good bag. Other than keeping it wiped down and keeping stains off of it, I think it'll last you a very long time and will be a good buy for you. The one and only con that I can think of for this bag is that it doesn't have the raincoat protecting that some of your bags have made by Low Pro or any of the other um, companies like Manfrotto. Um, that's the only thing I can really think of, but because of the size of this bag, I mean, you really don't have an excuse for it to really get wet. You can always throw something over it. Other than that, this is an amazing bag for the purpose of the bag and for the price. Last but not least, price and the value of this bag. This bag is currently $59.95, I want to say, on Amazon and around the same price at Best Buy. In my opinion, it would be well worth that because of the durability of the bag. Just like with any of your other Canon products, they cost a little more, but they tend to last a lot longer. I've owned the non-name brand stuff. The cheaper quality of the products, the Canon products always last longer and they always perform better. So I'm going to say I'll give this bag an 8.5 out of 10. The only reason I didn't give it a 10 was because of the raincoat. I feel like they could have put a small 
raincoat protecting that you could have slid over the top but that's the only thing I can think of the price is good I would suggest this bag for your amateur or your pro or even beginner photography anybody could use this bag it's a very good buy I put a link down in the description so if you want to go pick up this bag you can go pick it up at Best Buy or at Amazon that's where I would suggest going to pick it up at hey guys if you like this video and it was helpful make sure you click the like button and make sure you subscribe to my channel i got a lot more product reviews coming your way make sure you stay tuned next i'm going to be doing a review of the canon 50 millimeter 1.8 i suggest this lens for any photographer that starts out with the kit lens it makes a major difference in your photography signing out christopher mosley realism gets incorporated